we've been told that we are energy housed in human bodies or spirits housed in human bodies or spirits having a human experience on earth. And, and I agree with those concepts or theories, but I wanna expound a bit further, a bit further on, on that. And I believe we are balls of energy, meaning there is no separation from the outside and the inside. Whatever affects the outside of us will affect the inside and whatever effect, affects the inside of us will eventually affect the outside of us. There's one, we, we are balls of energy. And this is why you gotta be so uh, careful and protective about what situations or environments you place yourself in, uh, who you surround yourself with, and what enters your body, the information, the visuals, the energy that enters you, uh, that, that uh, collides uh, with, with your energy. You gotta be very uh, protective of that. Now, I believe there's three forms of energy that we can find ourselves in. And I, I've experienced all three. I believe everybody has experienced all three. The first one being circulating energy. Circulating energy. The second one being stagnant energy. And the third being integrated energy. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, the first one, circulating energy, I mean, that's a good thing. That's a good state uh, of energy to be in. Uh, unfortunately, we're not there 24-7, 365 days a year. So we got to know how to operate when we find ourselves in that stagnant energy and how to deal with people in stagnant energy and how to, to move around when we find ourselves in the integrated energy or how to deal with those who are in integrated energy and we may not be in that, that form of energy. Now, circulating energy, man, is just what it is. Uh, it's moving energy, the energy that is progressing, uh, moving forward, and that's a beautiful space to be in. That means uh, you're, you're in a creative space. Uh, you're open to creativity, you're, you're open to new perspectives, you're learning, you're expanding, and uh, this growth, growth, man, your, your territory is, is expanding, and you have an influence on other people, on yourself, uh, good energy has been attracted to you, you're attracting good energy, and you're just in a good space, a space of growth, and that's what it's all about, man, being in a space of growth, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Now, when we get into this, when we when we experience the circulating energy, we got to be careful of not falling into the stagnant energy because you can go get so used to a routine. You can go get so used to tradition that what was once new is no longer new. What was once growth is no longer growth. You become stagnant and you stop growing. You stop progressing. So... To avoid that, what I would do is I would change up my routine. You know, uh, if I do a certain type of stretching in the morning, switch up the stretching. Uh, if I usually drink tea in the morning, you know, maybe try some coffee or, or some water or something else, some hot cocoa. Uh, if I walk to work, try a different route to work or drive to work, try a different route, something new. You know, so uh, read a read a book if you usually read uh, fiction, try reading some nonfiction, you know, change up your routine and change up your environment, you know, change up what, what enters your body, enters your energy. If you're used to hanging around a certain type of individuals, change it up, you know, go to an Indian restaurant. If you've never been there, go to a Mediterranean restaurant. If you've never been there, if you're, you're Baptist, hey, why not visit, you know, the mosque? Why not miss, uh, visit a Catholic church? Why not? You know, I'm not saying you you want to convert, but you're opening up your mind to learn and, and and to keep that energy brand new and moving forward and progressing. And so, yeah, you got to be very careful of not getting uh, too comfortable and and keeping that energy flowing and moving forward. Uh, anytime we have an injury or anytime we just go to the doctor, man, the doctor will always tell you to stay active, to keep the blood circulating because he doesn't want you to get stagnant and blood clots form and potentially kill you. 
So we got to always stay, stay moving and stay circulating in life. Even when dealing with money, never look at money as if you're spending it. Because if you spend it, it's not coming back. Always look at money as you're circulating it. You're circulating, you're, you're, you're planting it in good, fertile soil, and it's going to come back to you. You're expecting it to grow and it's circulating. It's going to come back to you. You don't know when, but you are expected it to come back to you. You're not spending it where it's not going to come back. So even your mindset, man, with dealing with money, uh, it, you deal with money as energy, circulating energy. Now, the second form of energy, stagnant. Touched on this. Man, this is the deadliest, most poisonous form of energy because you're not moving forward. There is no growth. There, there is no expansion. There is no creative space you're in. Uh, no newness. And so even though it's not moving forward, energy doesn't die. So it has to go somewhere. So what do we do? We lash out. We lash out in, in, in the negative way towards the world or others or ourselves. We lash out, but the energy must come out. And, and this is, uh, like I said, the most poisonous form of energy because, man, a lot of hurt, uh, a lot of destruction is done when, when you're in this form, when you're in this state. And, and so one of the key ways to uh, detect or, or, or recognize someone in the state, even within yourself and, or others, watch how they view things. Watch how they view um, things that could be negative or things that don't go their way. Listen to their perspective. If they say things like, if it ain't one thing, it's another, right? That's a negative perspective. If they say, what else could it be now, right? Or I can't win for losing. That's a negative perspective. And that's a person that's in a stagnant form of energy. They're not moving forward. A person that's moving forward even though they encounter negative things, their perspective, their view of it is totally different. When they lose, when a person has circulating energy, loses their job, they look at the positive side and they say, well, man, maybe this is an opportunity for me to do what I've always wanted to do. To me, to really, for me to really put uh, energy towards my gift and talent. Man, this is a good opportunity. Uh, when a circulating energy person has a flat tire, they don't say, wow, if it ain't one thing, it's another. What they say is, maybe is, uh, wow, I don't know what's ahead of, ahead of the road. Maybe there was an accident that I avoided. Maybe a deer ran into the highway and I avoided this deer. You know, uh, they look at it from a different perspective instead of uh, a negative perspective like the stagnant person is doing. The stagnant person is not moving forward. They're not being creative. They're not using their energy in a positive way and they're stagnant, just sitting there in blood clots are forming and they're dying slowly. And what happens is, man, they can affect other people with the same energy. So you got to be careful, uh, not just within yourself and not having stagnant energy, but other people around you. You know, if you're not strong enough to be around these people and, and recognize what they're going through and be able to deal with that uh, respectively, in a responsible way, you got to separate yourself from them because it will affect you and you'll find yourself being stagnant eventually. Now, the third form of energy, the third state is the integrated state, man. This is where we bring everything home, where we're going to disconnect ourselves from everybody, man. We got to heal. We got to close ourselves off. We got to heal. And this energy, man, when you're in this energy, this could be misconstrued, man. They could see you as an a-hole or aloof or distant. And I wouldn't say you're an a-hole, but you are disconnected. You, you uh, have separated yourself uh, from the people, but you've consciously done this. You've consciously done this so you can heal, so you can uh, bring all your energy back, rejuvenate, uh, uh, replenish what you've lost, especially a guy like me, man. I'm an introvert. And uh, people drain me, crowds drain me. Um, I love people, love speaking to people. I love helping people. But because how I'm, I'm wired, how I'm designed, they drain me. Uh, with extroverts, crowds energize them. You know, where crowds will drain me. I'm an introvert. 
So everybody doesn't understand that, you know, uh, it's not for me to make sure everybody understands that, but it's for me to take care of me. So even if I'm connected to a Zoom call or a big crowd, I may be silent. And it's not because I'm disinterested. It's because, man, this is draining me. All these voices, all these personalities, all these feelings, all this energy is draining me because I'm actually in tune to what every single person on this call is saying and how they feel behind it. And that's draining. Uh, and so sometimes I got to step back and uh, just listen, you know. Uh, so I do a lot of listening and I pick my, my uh uh or try to pick the best times to speak uh but you know introverts take in a lot so i'm into i'm in that integrated uh energy a lot man a lot and some people don't understand it but that's okay now the biggest challenge man is when all these types of energies have to have to coexist now we can say it's very easy to disconnect yourself uh from someone that's not on the same frequency when you don't have to be connected to them man that's the easy part man that's the easy part we don't live together man i can just disconnect myself right that's the easy part we don't have to deal with each other uh, but what happens man when it's your wife when it's your live-in spouse what happens then when your energy is circulating hers is stagnant you got a positive outlook she has a negative outlook what happens then? You know, you can't just disconnect yourself then. That's the challenge. You know, uh, anybody can separate, anybody can break up, but how do you coexist in a healthy way with someone that's on a different energy frequency than you? What I'm going to tell you is if you're in a state of circulating energy, you're moving forward, you're being creative. You're positive. You're growing. Keep doing that. Even though you may be tied to someone that's in a stagnant mode. They got stagnant energy. They got negative energy, negative vibration. You keep going. Stay busy. Stay busy. Stay creative. Don't stop. Deal with them as much as you can. And then get to moving onto your mission. Don't stop. Hopefully, you'll influence them. You'll encourage them. Now, if you're the person that's stagnant, dealing with someone uh, that is uh, circulating, that's moving forward, they're being creative, and it's just like, man, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're stagnant. You're not moving. You're idle. Well, they say an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So this is a very dangerous situation for you to be in because you could poison yourself and the person you're connected with. What you need to do, you need to go in integrated mode. Anytime you're in stagnant mode and you want to get out of that, and some people love being in that stagnant mode, that woe is me mode. You know, sometimes it feels good to feel sorry for yourself. But if you want to get out of that, place yourself in the integrated mode. Bring everything in, disconnect from everyone, meditate, heal. Consciously do this. Cut yourself off. Heal. Question yourself. Question the world. Ask questions. View things for what they are. Deal with reality. Face reality in a loving, mature way. Don't fight it. And then you can come out of that. And, and, and you guys can coexist. And eventually you'll come out of the integrated mode into the circulating mode. And you guys are on the same frequency. And can push forward but yeah that's the biggest challenge man when you're connected with someone and you're on different different frequencies that's the challenge but we can push through and uh you know hopefully you know these nuggets of wisdom help you guys guys deal with that but we've all been in all three modes i guarantee you man we've all been there but uh we can push through so let me know what you guys think from me to you love peace